Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Well, uh, guys, I'm going to have to caution you on this uh, particular video because this video is uh, rather disturbing considering that we shall witness a vile tyrant of the highest of disorders attempt and succeed in overwhelmingly give aid and comfort to a citizen Oh my goodness. And do you know what they do? They change her tire. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, and this uh, vile piece of work comes to us via natural state transparency. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and let's try not to be too shocked about the content of this horrible video. <laughs> How are y'all? Yeah, how can I help you? What's going on? You got a flat tire. You got a flat tire? Okay. We have no idea how to change it. Well, I can help you out. Well, I'm sorry I couldn't get chilly here from the last time that I did an interview with him because, well, he thinks I'm a scumbag, but that's his opinion. But at any rate, he would uh, say that, uh, why aren't these women showing this officer the trifold because, well, it should save them from this traffic stop. I mean, it saved them from going to the dungeon. I mean, who needs a cop to help you change a tire? I mean, if there were no good cops, then, well, they'd leave you on the stranded on the side of the road if they saw you uh, with a uh, flat tire, or they'd take you to the dungeon, according to Chili, anyway. But let's continue on, shall we? Trying to get a hold of roadside. <laughs> well, let's just see if we can. to get to Fayetteville. My daughter goes to college there. Okay. Well, let's just see if we can get it knocked out for you. That would be so. You got. You do have a spare, correct? Yes. Okay. What? What's the matter with you, ma'am? Don't answer the tyrant's questions. You're not supposed to do that. It's against the law of frauding to answer the questions of a tyrant. I mean, that's rule number one of being a, a moronic frauder or Chile de Castro in this case. Don't answer the cop's questions, even if the answers will benefit everybody in the situation. He can help you know what? Let's just go ahead and fast forward through this because I'm sure at some point this officer is going to violate their rights somehow. I mean, it happens to frauditors all the time. So why shouldn't it happen to some a civilian out on the road? Uh, I mean, it's bound to happen, right? Especially when the officer is changing a tire, right? But let's just go ahead and fast forward anyway.
dry in here? Yes. Okay. I knew it. I knew I could find something unlawful about this. The officer is violating their Fourth Amendment rights by searching and seizing their spare tire. Whatever will they do without their spare tire on their car? I don't think this officer is kind enough to put that spare tire on that car. But let's just see. I mean, if Chili, if Chili is to be believed, then these women are screwed. I can figure out how to get in the house. Uh, I think it's one of those you got to have the, the tool on it, probably. Uh, well, that's certainly not it. I mean, just let, let's just go ahead and skip to the point where these uh, women's rights are indeed violated. One hour later. Wait, wait a second. Am I missing something here? Because I didn't see anybody's rights being violated here. I mean, the officers did pull over and confront these women about the reason why they were stranded on the side of the road. And uh, the officers illegally uh, helped them change their tire and uh, sent them on their way. Is there something that I'm missing here? Or is what I we all hear a bunch of BS about there being no good cops out there? When this is an example of how cops make a difference out there. I mean, yeah, sure, there are bad cops out there, but not all of them. Not all of them are going to leave you stranded by the side of the road or take you to the dungeon just because... You're pulled over like this. I mean, who'd have thunk it that uh, frauditors and soft sits tend to lie? So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.